Shofatim, Judges 20. Then all the children of Yashara'el went out, and the assembly was gathered together as one man, from Dan even to Be'er Shiva, with the land of Gilad, unto El Yahua in Mitzpah. And the chief of all the people, even of all the tribes of Yashara'el, presented themselves in the assembly of the people of Elohim, 400,000 footmen that drew sword. Now the children of Binyamin heard that the children of Yashara'el were gone up to Mitzpah. And they said, the children of Yashara'el, rather, then said the children of Yashara'el, Tell us, how was this wickedness? And the Levi, the man of the woman that was slain, answered and said, I came into Giva that belongs to Binyamin, I and my concubine, to lodge. And the men of Giva rose against me and beset at the house round about upon me by night and thought to have slain me and at my concubine have they forced that she is dead. And I took my concubine and cut her in pieces and sent her throughout all the country of the inheritance of Yashara'el, for they have committed lewdness and folly in Yashara'el. Behold, ye are all children of Yashara'el. Give here your advice and counsel. And all the children arose as one man, saying, we will not any of us go to his tent, neither will we any of us turn into his house. But now this shall be the thing which we will do to Giva. We will go up by lot against it. And we will take ten men of a hundred throughout all the tribes of Yashara'el, and a hundred of a thousand, and a thousand of, out of ten thousand, to fetch victual for the people, that they may do, when they come to Giva of Binyamin, according to all the folly that they have wrought in Yashara'el. So, all the men of Yashara'el were gathered against the city, knit together as one man. And the tribes of Yashara'el sent men through all the tribe of Binyamin, saying, What wickedness is this that is done among you? Now therefore... Deliver us at the men, the children of Belai Al, which are in Giva, that we may put them to death and put away evil from Yashara'el. But the children of Binyamin would not hearken to the voice of their brethren, the children of Yashara'el. But the children of Binyamin gathered themselves together out of the cities unto Giva to go out to battle against the children of Yashara'el. And the children of Binyamin were numbered at that time out of the cities twenty and six thousand men that drew sword beside the inhabitants of Giva, which were numbered 
700 chosen men. Among all this people, there were 700 chosen men left-handed. Everyone could sling stones at a hair breath and not miss. And the men of Yashar'el, beside Binyamin, were numbered 400,000 men that drew sword. All these were men of war. And the children of Yashar'el arose and went up to the house of Elohim and asked counsel of Elohim and said, Which of us shall go up first to the battle against the children of Binyamin? And Yahuwah said, Yahuda shall go up first. And the children of Yashara'el rose up in the morning and encamped against Giv'ah. And the men of Yashara'el went out to battle against Binyamin. And the men of Yashara'el put themselves in array to fight against them at Giv'ah. And the children of Binyamin came forth out of Giva and destroyed down to the ground of Yashara'el that day twenty and two thousand men. And the people, the men of Yashara'el, encouraged themselves and set their battle again in array in the place where they put themselves in array the first day. And the children of Yashara'el went up and wept before Yahuwah until evening and asked counsel of Yahuwah, saying, Shall I go up again to battle against the children of Binyamin, my brother? And Yahuwah said, Go up against him. And the children of Yashara'el came near against the children of Binyamin the second day. And Binyamin went forth against them out of Giva the second day and destroyed down to the ground of the children of Yashara'el again 18,000 men. All these drew the sword. Then all the children of Yashara'el and all the people went up and came unto the house of Elohim and wept and sat there before Yahuwah and fasted that day until evening and offered burnt offerings and peace offerings before Yahuwah. And the children of Yashara'el inquired of Yahuwah, for the Ark of the Covenant of Elohim was there in those days. And Pinachach, the son of Eleazar, the son of Ahran, stood before it in those days, saying, Shall I yet again go out to battle against the children of Binyamin, my brother, or shall I cease? And Yahuwah said, Go up, for tomorrow I will deliver them into your hand. And Yashara'el set liars in wait round about Giva. And the children of Yashara'el went up against the children of Binyamin on the third day and put themselves in array against Giva as at other times. And the children of Binyamin went out against the people and were drawn away from the city. And they began to smite of the people and kill, as at other times, in the highways of which one goes up to the house of Elohim and the other to Giva in the field, about thirty men of Yashara'el. And the children of Binyamin said, 
they are smitten down before us as at the first. But the children of Yashadael said, Let us flee and draw them from the city unto the highways. And all the men of Yashadael rose up out of their place and put themselves in array at Baal Tamar. And the liars in wait of Yashadael came forth out of their places, even out of the meadows of Giva. And there came against Giva ten thousand chosen men out of all Yashadael, and the battle was sore, but they knew not that evil was near them. And Yahuwah smote at Binyamin before Yashadael, and the children of Yashadael destroyed of the Bin Hayamini that day twenty and five thousand and a hundred men. All those drew the sword. Rather, all these drew the sword. So the children of Binyamin saw that they were smitten, for the men of Yashadael gave place to the Bin Ha Yamini, because they trusted unto the liars in wait which they had set beside Giva. And the liars in wait hasted and rushed upon Giva, and the liars in wait drew themselves along and smote eth all the city with the edge of the sword. Now there was an appointed sign between the men of Yashadael and the liars in wait, that they should make a great flame with, with smoke rise up out of the city. And when the men of Yashadael retired in battle, Binyamin began to smite and kill of the men of Yashadael about thirty persons. For they said, Surely they are smitten down before us, as in the first battle. But when the flame began to arise up out of the city with a pillar of smoke, the Bin Hayamini looked behind them, and behold, the flame of the city ascended up to heaven. And when the men of Yashadael turned again, the men of Bin Yamin were amazed, for they saw that evil was come upon them. Therefore they turned their backs before the men of Yashadael unto the way of the wilderness. But the battle overtook them, and them which came out of the cities they destroyed in the midst of them. Thus they enclosed Eth the Bin Hayaminim round about, and chased them, and trod them down with ease over against Giva, toward the sun rising. And there fell of Binyamin eighteen thousand men. Eth, all these were men of valor. And they turned and fled toward the wilderness, unto the rock of Rimon. And they gleaned of them in the highways five thousand men. And pursued hard after them unto Gidam, and slew two thousand men of them. So that all which fell that day of Binyamin were twenty and five thousand men that drew the sword, as all these were men of valor. But six hundred men turned and fled, Till the, to the wilderness unto the rock Rimon, and abode in the rock Rimon four months. And the men of Yashadael turned again upon the children of Binyamin, and smote them with the edge of the sword. As well the men of every city, as the beast, and all that came to hand, also they set on fire all the cities that they came to.